For the last seven and a half years, I have represented the constituents of Mid Bedfordshire for almost every day of my life. Being an MP isn't a job, it's more of a life choice. When the producers of I'm a Celebrity offered me the chance to go into the jungle, I saw that as an opportunity to engage with a whole new electorate that Conservative MPs like myself don't normally have an opportunity to engage with. I saw this as an opportunity to change perceptions, to show people that Conservative MPs are just like everybody else, that we're mums and dads and sons and daughters. When I left, there was a knee-jerk reaction invoked by the media, which became almost hysterical. The papers are full of scurrilous lies about myself and my family. Journalists wrote that I was away for a month. It wasn't even two weeks. Parliament was on its own half-term holiday, and I missed absolutely no legislation. Knowing that I was going away, I worked throughout the year and only took four days off this summer. Everyone who works has holidays. Even the Prime Minister takes holidays. I just chose to do something a little bit different with mine. In seven and a half years, I have never taken a single parliamentary day away. Not one. Oh, you're so good. I said really like, good things about you that were on the beach. Oh, the you look better now than you did in six years. Hello. What's your name? The reality is that the reaction on the street has been overwhelmingly positive. And when I went into a supermarket the other day, I was cheered. That doesn't happen every day. Michael Gove told me a lovely story in the Commons the other evening about how when he was visiting a school in St Helens last week, the children wanted to know from him, do you know Nadine, what's she like? And he told me that he said to the children, if she was your mum, would you be embarrassed or proud? And they all put their hands up and shouted, proud. Children run up to me on the street with their mobile phones and they say, are you Nadine Dorries? Are you the MP? What's it like to eat a spider? And meanwhile, back in Westminster, in the corridors of power, my whip was suspended and my name was removed from the Conservative Party's website list of MPs. In 2015, a whole new generation of voters will go into the voting booth in mid-beds put a cross next to my name and know exactly who they're voting for. Far from being a disaster, I'm a celebrity with a total success. I have no regrets and I would do it all again.